Hello, my name is Chuck Lewis and I will be your professor for Techniques for Effective Choral Conducting. I'm really excited about the journey that we will take together. Conducting is an art with a purpose and in Christian applications a very distinct purpose that we'll talk about in a moment. Conducting is the art of nonverbal communication. It involves the eyes and the face, the hands, the arms, and indeed, the entire body. Conducting is not simply just waving your arms around in the air. The very distinct purpose for conducting in Christian applications is to equip the saints to do the work of the ministry. And in this case, to equip the musical saints to do the work of praising the Lord together in perfect unity. David writes in Psalm 133, how good and how pleasant it is when we dwell together in that perfect unity. When singers and instrumentalists gather, when they gather to unite their voices in a united, concerted sacrifice of praise, the conductor provides the central rhythmic heartbeat around which a song is built. The conductor provides a unifying direction for crescendo and decrescendo. The conductor provides a reference point for musical nuance and artistic phrasing. The conductor is a constant reminder of the fundamentals of, of singing like breathing and vowel shape. And the conductor is a picture of the joy or pain or hope or longing or anticipation or whatever the text may be trying to express. Techniques for Effective Choral Conducting is the exploration of conducting techniques with an emphasis on gesture development, baton technique, the integrated use of the left hand, nonverbal communication, Christ-like leadership, and terminology that's related to conducting. Applications will be made along the way to worship settings and choral rehearsals. Here's a few bullet points of some things that you'll be learning. You will learn for the first time, and some of you will be review, the foundational conducting patterns in one, in two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, and 12. You will learn right hand and left hand independence. You'll develop proper baton grip and the proper baton gesture. You'll learn techniques in nonverbal communication. You'll learn how to prepare a score that will lead to effective conducting and effective rehearsals. And finally, you'll learn what to do when the orchestra arrives. In this course, I've taken everything that students would typically receive in a full semester and compacted it into eight weeks. This eight-week format is appropriately labeled an intensive course the expectation is that you set aside about two hours every day, Monday through Saturday, so six days a week, for eight weeks. If you do that, you should have no problem working through the course. The course has several basic components that I'd like to outline for you now. Reading assignments related to the art of conducting. Video lectures and conducting demonstrations primarily given by me. Conducting skill development exercises. Conducting assignments of choral anthems. Score marking. Video observations of professional conductors. Choral listening assignments of great choral works. Terms that every conductor needs to know. A written midterm, a conducting final, and individual coaching sessions with me. For a moment, I'd like to highlight a few of the above components. Because this course is primarily a skill development course, the reading assignments are short, yet really important. We will be using this book entitled Precision Conducting, Seven Disciplines for Effective Conducting by Timothy Sharp. It's not available on Amazon, so please check out the syllabus for instructions on how to order. Also, every now and then, I'll throw in an article that I think will be especially helpful for you. In addition, you're going to need the Baptist Hymnal 2008, 
You're going to need a conducting baton that looks something like this. You're going to need some colorful highlighters and multicolored pens or pencils, plus four choral anthems that you'll order from J.W. Pepper. Please see the course syllabus for more details on how to order. The heart of this course comes in the form of learning to conduct several choral anthems of different style and tempi and meter. You'll learn the techniques of score marking and the gestural language necessary to make the score come alive. At least 30 minutes per day for six days per week for the entire eight weeks should be devoted to conducting the score. Once the score has been learned and the gestures mastered, you will video record yourself as you conduct the anthem. After that, you'll complete a written self-evaluation that will help you note areas of improvement and areas that still need additional work. I'll also offer some additional coaching comments to you after reviewing your work. Periodically throughout the course, I will ask you to watch a classmate's video and to offer encouragement and iron sharpening iron comments for him or for her. During week three and week five, each student will have a 30-minute live coaching session with me. I'm also available to you anytime by appointment if you have conducting questions. Please feel free to call on me at any time. Conducting is so fun and so meaningful. You are in for a great journey. My prayer is that the skills and experience you gain in this class will help you become an effective conductor whose work edifies the church and empowers your choir to offer their best to the Lord in response to God's incredible best that He has graciously given to us. I look forward to taking the journey together with you soon.